Uh, in this bass lesson, I'm going to be introducing you guys to uh, a certain bass player and a uh, style of playing that he has basically become uh, famous and, and known for, for doing. Um, most of the bass players, like all around the world who do this, almost always attribute it to him. And his name is Francis Rocco Pristia, and he plays bass in the band Tower of Power from uh, Oakland, California. So what I'm going to be introducing you guys to in this video now is his style of playing because like I said it's very unique. Essentially what he does when he plays is almost every note he plays, whether you know it's down here, up here, anywhere on the fretboard, any string, most of the time okay, he plays it with his pointer finger and he uses these three fingers back here just to lightly rest on the string in front of it. Okay, And the reason he's doing that is it's all, all, all about tone. So if you've heard Tower of Power you've probably heard this like incredible super percussive like monstrous like foundational bass line and his you know his notorious tone and how he gets that is exactly how I just described. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the sixth fret of our A string which is an E flat just like we normally do and then to get that muted muted tone we're gonna like I said rest our fingers just lightly very lightly on the strings and you're gonna have to experiment with it a bit first you might get that sort of thing. It might be a bit too percussive, but eventually you'll get it right in the spot where most of the time you'll be able to do it dead on. Obviously it takes a bit of practice and getting used to, but the one thing I suggest is keeping your hand very relaxed while you're doing it, okay? If your hand's like, you know, and you're trying really hard to do it, I think it's gonna be a bit harder. But I do have a whole nother video on this that I'll put uh, up here on the video here so you guys can check it out and get a bit more into depth. Um, what it's called is basically fretting hand muting is what we're doing here, right? So we're, we're doing a slight fretting hand mute while playing the note. I'm going to teach you guys a bass line now that we can use to incorporate this into our own bass playing. And it's actually from a bass cover I did uh, about a few weeks ago now from his band Tower of Power. And the song is called Down to the Nightclub. Uh, it's an incredible song. I'll put a link to the bass cover here if you guys want to check it out. But there's one section in that song in particular. Uh, it's over like an E flat 7 chord. And why I'm going to use that as an example is because what he's playing is a very sort of, you know, typical finger style, almost Jacques-O-S type of, uh, of bass line, funk bass line. But he puts his own spin on it by using only his pointer finger on every single note. And then he gets that really cool tone like I've been talking about the whole video, right? So. First, I'm going to teach you guys the original bass line without any of the muting. So, it sounds like this. One, two, three, and four, and... Alright, so, we start on the 6th fret of the A string, 8th fret of the G string, and then we do a walk up all on the D string starting on the 4th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret. We go back to our first note, 6th fret of the A string. We go down to the 6th fret of the E string. And then 4th fret of the A string. So that's a 1 bar 4 beat uh, bass loop that we're going to keep repeating over and over again just for the purposes of, of obviously you know, treating it as an exercise and being able to get the technical aspect of it down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the same bass line, but I'm going to add in this sort of Rocco Pristia signature fretting hand muting thing, just so you guys can hear how it sounds. And I'll keep it really, really slow. So one, two, three, and four, and... So it's super percussive and it has almost like a hip hop -y, just like nasty, nasty vibe. I love it. I, I do it all the time now. Probably more often than I should, but it's, it's such a cool technique and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So um, basically, my main advice and probably the thing you, you saw me do is that instead of using all of our fingers like we would typically use uh, in the first bass line that I showed you guys, we only use our index finger, our pointer finger, because we always want the rest of our hand, the rest of our fingers, to follow along wherever we move your hand. And so 
That's why my earlier tip about keeping your entire hand and your fingers especially, especially relaxed while you're doing this is like so crucial because I had a lot of trouble doing this at first because I really kind of forced it and then I don't know what happened. I just started doing it more on like practicing on gigs and stuff and then I just got it. I got it down to the point where my hand was just really relaxed and my whole thing kind of just moved as one unit. And I think that's, that's, uh, that's how Francis Rocco Prestia can do it and he can execute it so well without it sounding very, you know, technique-y or whatever. And I'm not saying by any means I'm a master of it, but uh, I just wanted to introduce you guys to this technique. If you have any questions about anything I talked about here, uh, as always, don't forget, leave me a comment below and uh, I'll do my best to answer. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adam Stevens Bass. Thanks a lot for watching.